wrong? Nothing. I just... Yeah, I think maybe we better cool it for a while. What is it, the investigation? Well, everybody's under a microscope. You know, it's like a witch hunt. John, the lover is not double agent. I know these guys. I know the way they think. You know, they're looking for a mole and two agents sleeping together. You just never know what they're going to make out of it. Well, you're right. We should be smart. <laughs> so let's get out of here. I'll get ready. We'll go out to dinner. You sure you want to be seen in public? It's all right. I know a place. Sounds good. I've got confirmation. Donovan's our man. You down in a second. Donovan. For what? Betraying your country. Because you, Joy, a stupid way to end your career. Charles! Ah, Charles, this is nuts. I'm disappointed in you, John. Well, I didn't do anything. I trusted you. Charles, I'm not the mole, I swear to God. Take him away. Charles, please, you gotta listen to me! Talk to her alone. Nice work. Kevin, how come I feel like crap? He was dirty. You did your job. I can't believe you let me do this assignment. You're the right agent for the job. I'm also your daughter. Well, if you're expecting special treatment. That's not the point. What is the point? Never mind. Away. This is Arden. Donovan's on the loose. Shoot the kill. I repeat, shoot the kill. Hey, Ross, you're really a hard guy to track down. Wool socks, thermal socks, waterproof socks, downproof socks, electric socks, and extra socks. I think we have enough socks. Yeah, but cold feet are the worst. 
And if we're gonna be in the woods in January in Canada, we need to retain as much body heat as we can. Heat escapes from your head, Simon. My head? Uh-huh. I knew that. I've got my hat. That hat's not warm enough. Uh, what do you mean, not warm enough? I love my hat. This hat is my friend. You'll need more than friendship when the temperature dips below minus 30. You'll need earmuffs. Mm. Earmuffs. Earmuffs? Earmuffs. What, and look like a doofus? Well, actually, you don't have pay. Hey, don't say anything. And I'm not wearing earmuffs. So, you two are going to Canada because... It's owl time up in northern Ontario. Snowy owl. Eastern screech owl. Great horned owl. Monkey-faced owl. Can I ask you what kind of a man owl wants it? A man who's not afraid of earmuffs. My Uncle Mac had a thing for owls. Have fun in Canada. No. You learn something every day. She has an uncle. That's the first thing I've ever learned about her. She's got to be the least open person I've ever met. It drives you nuts, doesn't it? Well, aren't you the slightest bit curious about her? I mean, does she have a, a life outside Group W? Does she like music, food, movies? Wild, uninhibited sex? Does he have any friends, relatives, any lovers? Does he? Climb a mountain and ask a mystic. Your parents, you cooperate, they live. Bastard. What do you want to know? I want to know who set me up. What are you talking about? two years of my life have been living hell, Ross. When I wasn't searching for you, I was being hunted around the globe like a dog by half the friggin' agency. And all for something I didn't do. Now I want to know who set me up. We found the Azerbaijan files on your computer, John. We lost six people there. That file was planted by you. I didn't have access to your computer. How could I have turned to you? What you have to ask yourself is who did have access to your computer? Think about it, John. Having an affair with a fellow agent is stupid. Joy Arden isn't stupid. No way. No way, not Joy. I was her mentor and her lover. She couldn't have betrayed me. She was fired, ruined, just like me. She wasn't fired. She quit, John. You were our primary suspect from the start. She was assigned to get close to you. It was a classic honey trap. Think about it, John. It was Joy who set you up and who turned you in. Seven hours so far today. I think we should head back. You want some frappuccino? What? You're not gonna wear them? I'm not freezing. Ah. What was that? What? It sounded like something moving. There are animals in the woods. I know, they sounded big. Bears are big. Bears? I thought they they hibernate in the winter. Maybe it's a polar bear. Too bad. Just
just another ornithologist. Hello there, Largo Winch. You've got to stop publicizing your owl-watching expeditions. Daniel Pitt, Central Intelligence Agency. Can we talk alone? No. Okay. Now be blunt, Mr. Winch. Our national security is threatened. As is your life. How? You've uncovered a plot to destabilize the U.S. government. Several prominent American politicians and businessmen have been targeted for kidnapping, including yourself. The problem is the plotters may be a cabal within the CIA. Hence the need for utmost secrecy and extreme caution. What do you want me to do? I want you to help us stop them. How? You won't like it? Try me. We want you to be the bait. Defense. Our intelligence reports indicate that our principal suspect is in the northeastern U.S. or Canada. Now we can provide long cover. It's the outer ring of security. But if the kidnappers are our agency, we can't afford to have our people close on you. They'd be made in a heartbeat. I have my own security. We're aware of that, Mr. Winch. Actually, that's one of the reasons we're approaching you. We'd like your people to provide the close cover. What's your he said the kidnappings were to be carried out on foreign soil, so the plan is for me to announce a business trip to Montreal and publish the itinerary. He's got you walking right into the lion's den. We talked about that, but he feels it's the best way to control the situation. Why Montreal? Canada has good relations with the U.S., proximity to the American border, and great nightlife. According to these files, Daniel Pitt rented a car in Moosonee, Ontario this morning. That checks out. The CIA account. It's billed through the same front company I used to use. His magazine subscription list, all billed to a P.O. box in Virginia. That's a Langley address. Once again, CIA. How do you know that? Well, I used to write a few love letters there, you know. Dear Billy Bob, I love you. Signed, Boris. And it can cause a lot of problems that way. Could these records have been manufactured? I don't suppose you could call an old friend at the agency about Pitt. I don't have any old friends at the agency. So the retirement party was kind of dull. Besides, if it is a CIA plot, we can't call anyone there. Which makes it all too convenient for Pitt, if you ask me. There is one person we can call to confirm Pitt. Who? Central Intelligence Agency. Daniel Pitt, please. One moment, please. This is Agent Daniel Pitt. Please leave a message. So what are we saying? Pitt's legit? Looks like it. Okay. How risky is it for us to go along with this plan? Joy, these are your people. Well, it's very risky. These people want to kidnap you. If they are CIA, they're good. Lethal if they want to be. On the other hand, not going along with it could be even riskier. This way, at least we have a little control. I don't like it. Yeah. Then again, you don't like anything. I think there's too much in the line to say, no? Uh, okay, move over to the left. This left. The other left. And try to make your smile less fake. You want a better smile? Get a prettier photographer. Margo, look at that face. What could be prettier? Hmm? Thanks, Kurensky, but I'd hate to upset Simon. Okay, give me some tea. Yeah. This is boring, and I'm getting cold. I don't like it. I'm the target. How do you think I feel? Let's keep the mind on the job, gentlemen. Yeah, right. Coming up so fast, 20 yards, red parker. I'm on it. Here.
Let's reset, Largo Simon. Back to picture taking. Joy, give me an area scan in case that, that was a decoy. Joy? Joy. We have a problem. Largo, over here. Let's go. This whole thing was a setup. Pitt used me to get to Joy. The kidnapping made her focus on me, and that made it vulnerable to him. Why go to so much trouble to get us to Montreal? Why not take Joy in New York? Because Montreal is familiar ground. Maybe because they want a man. Maybe he can't get into the U.S. Maybe he's not Daniel Pitt. He's not CIA. But he knows too much about the agency. Then he's ex-CIA. That explains how he could manipulate the computer files. Yeah. Enjoys XCIA as well. You need to find out anything you can about this guy. I can access the agency's high security files, but it may take a while to break through their firewalls. We need something faster. Do you have any contacts that can help us? Maybe. Let's go. John Donovan? What the hell's going on, Russ? He snapped. He thinks we tried to set him up to take the fall on the Azerbaijan case. The agency never got up to him. No. A few good people tried, but he was better. Does he know about my part in the takeout? Yeah. Look, it was either that or he was going to go after my family. What did you tell him? The truth. That you only trapped him. I'm sorry, Joy. I had to. He's out of control. That's it. One more of this. Perfect. A little more. Great. Big smiles. A little tighter. Great. Russian Secret Service agent works here? It's her cover. Yeah. We're gonna assignment. Mind. I'm thinking it's a good thing Simon isn't here. Yeah, blood will come out of his ears. Svetlana. Bit more reality. Какой приятный сюрприз. Клемен, я тоже, моя дорогая. К сожалению, я здесь по делам. Дело время. Подойдет час? Почему бы и нет? Если сейчас не трогает, наше прошлое. Он сверобнил, не поперит. Пусть это будет наш маленький секрет. CIA is still your specialty? He can be trusted? Yeah. Then yes. We need some information on an agent named Daniel Pitt. What do you know about Daniel Pitt? He approached us three days ago. No, he didn't. Pitt was killed five days ago. Your intel's good? The best. The CIA is keeping the information on a strict need-to-know basis. Our inside people needed to know. They say that Pitt was trying to bring in a rogue agent named John Donovan. And the word is that Donovan killed him when he got too close. You know where it happened? Not far from here. Ottawa. Anything else? Plenty. But only after you get off work. 
No offense. Now I'm taken. Sorry. Later then. Yeah? Uh, Looking good. Hello? John. Where the hell are you? I'm still in Montreal. You were supposed to be here by now. Do you realize you missed the vote on the Tomasi acquisition? And now the entire board's meeting for the quarterly report. I, I, look, I know. I just... Something happened. I can't make it. Well, would you care to elaborate on that? Not yet. Largo, you can't just disappear like this. Look, we'll just have to talk about this later, all right? Largo? Ciao. Oh. Where are we, Ross? I have no idea. I was in Ottawa on assignment when Donovan got me. What does he want with us? I don't know that either. But he's dangerous. He's unhinged. He killed an agent that we had tracking him. I think he's gonna kill us, Joy. You got that right, Ross. Well, I kind of resent the implication, but I've lost my mind. John. What's going on? How you doing, Joy? A long time, huh? Well, I just figured, you know, we catch up, talk about the good old days. What do you say? Let's find a place to chat, just you and me. What do you want, John? I want answers. I want to know who destroyed my life. I got Ross's version of the events. Heard your little combined story. Now it's time for Joy's side of things. I think somewhere in there the truth will emerge. But when, uh, don't worry, Ross. I got a lot more questions for you yet. Let's go. I mean it, Joe. How was the long duration? Boring. How about our CMP headquarters? Very exciting. Any news on the earpiece? Any print? Nothing. They will look into it, but I had to keep details sketchy so they haven't got much to go on. You get any news in there? Aside from the latest spring collection? Daniel Pitt was killed by a fellow CIA agent named John Donovan. Presumably, Donovan assumed Pitt's identity to lure us up here and kidnap Joy. Do we know why? Nope. Yes, I'm in. In where? Second level security, CIA, New York Central personnel files. How'd you do that? As I said, their security is nearly impenetrable. But if an agency employee is working at home and remotely accesses his or her files, I can piggyback in. Human stupidity never fails. I'm searching for anything on Pitt, Donovan, or Arden. Well, I'll be damned. What? There's another Arden in the files. Charles Arden, retired. Joy's father. She told me her father was dead, and her mother lived in England. Well, the agency says he's alive, and they should know. Anything on his whereabouts? A farm near Burlington, Vermont. Hmm. About an hour from here, by car. You should check it out. What are you doing, John? Get in the cell, Joy. I will shoot you.
Charles Arden? I'm unarmed. I'm looking for Charles Arden. Who the hell are you? I'm Largo Wedge. I need to talk to you about Joy. What about her? Your daughter works for me. Yeah, I know. Whatever happened to country hospitality? We're just here to talk, Mr. Arden. Put your gun down. Time when you took. Joy's been kidnapped. Let's talk inside. You were right. Old agency habits die hard. His daughter is proof of that. I think I should stay out here. He's more likely to talk one on one. Go ahead. We're here. You were right. Joy's daddy favors shotguns. Find anything? The rest of a two-way radio. I'm having it dusted for prints. In the meantime, I got more background on Joy's father. I think he was a CIA agent we called Pizrook. Which means? The ghost. We had extensive files on him, but the files all conflicted. He was never the same from one case to the next. Everything we learned about him just made him more of an enigma. Like father, like daughter. The one thing we knew for sure, he was very dangerous. We think he single-handedly... Took out one of our networks in the U.S. and several in Asia. We lost some very good people. Is Joy as dangerous as her old man? Let's hope. killed Pitt, and you found out about it. Your people must be connected. They're good. Yeah, they'd have to be. How does Joey connect with Donovan? Through me. I was Donovan's rabbi. I took him under my wing when he first joined the agency, and then I, I asked him to take care of Joy when she joined. And Donovan made her a damn good agent. Why would he kidnap her? Because she exposed him as a double agent. Looking for revenge. Mm. There was a mole in the agency. We knocked down pins. Donovan was the last one standing. Joy helped break the case. Now, Donovan's been on the run for the last two years. We spread our net far and wide, and still, he's eluded us. He's that good. Two years, that's when Joy left the agency, right? What's your point? Just wondering if that's why she quit. You said that Donovan took her in Montreal, right? That's right. Yeah, well, Montreal meant something to him. Let me check it. How's his shoulder? It hurts. Sorry I had to do that. I'm dead. How's your dad? We haven't spoken lately. It's too bad. It's just the way things are. I always had a lot of respect for your father, Joy. Yeah, we'll try being his daughter sometime. He was always loyal. Loyal? John, my father was the one who told Naylor to take you down. Charles wouldn't do that. Naylor assigned me to Honey Trap you when my father okayed it. I wasn't a mole, Joy. The Azerbaijan files are on your computer, John. That file was planted. By whom? You. Never happened. You're the only one that had access to my computer, Joy. I trusted you. I even thought you loved me, but... But I was just an assignment. It's not true. You said so yourself. Maybe at the beginning it was an assignment. I loved you, John. You're just saying that so I won't kill you. What do you want me to say? It's a little too late to ask that now, isn't it?
Before Joy came aboard at the agency, Donovan was uh, OIC of very covert CIA ops in Montreal. What operations? Can you be more specific? Yeah, he was officer in charge of an uh, intelligence gathering and uh, analysis facility. In Montreal? Yeah. Well, given its proximity to the U.S. and uh, laid-back Canadian security, it became a kind of espionage hotbed. When the media found out what the CIA was up to, the Canadian government closed the facility down. Donovan's in Montreal because it's safe ground for him. He knows the city. He knows the people. Knowing how the agency operates, that facility was probably hidden in uh, some old run-down building. My guess is that's where Donovan is. Do you have any idea where it's located? It's not in the file. And uh, I don't know much more about the operation. I'll find it. When I see uh, Joe, I'll give her your best. Don't bother. All right. Why? Because she quit. When things didn't go her way, she ran off. Joe's no quitter. She must have had a good reason. I directed her. I set her up with Donovan. I made her what she was. Maybe. But that isn't what she is. My father was like you, trying to make me into something I wasn't. I fought him like Joyce fighting you now. And did you reject everything your father stood for? Absolutely. Did you break up his marriage, turn his wife against him, destroy his family? Why did Joy leave the agency? You keep avoiding that question, why? How did she find out that Donovan was the mole? You assigned her. Assigned your own daughter to seduce and betray a man close to both of you. I thought she could handle it. I thought she was stronger. She wouldn't be your pawn anymore, and you couldn't stand that. I'm going to get her back. Kerensky called while you guys were bonding. And? The yeah, idea to print on Joyce two-way. Donovan's the man. He's probably got her in a former CIA intel facility in Montreal. Do we know where? No, but Kerensky should be able to figure it out. It got a lot of media coverage. Yeah. What's taking you so long? Hey, there are more than 60 entries here showing a match. I have to check each one. Uh-huh. Here it is. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. All right, go ahead. CIA Intel Facility 2895 Rue de la All right, got it. Let me punch that into the global positioning system. Hey, listen, wouldn't a road map be quicker? <laughs> got it. I'll meet you there. No, I remember the first time I saw you. We were walking down a corridor at Langley. It's this confidence. Watch the way you moved, and you knew the world. You knew your place in it. You're the perfect student. How'd you get from there to here? Where'd you learn to betray your country? Your family, your lover? How can you live with yourself doing what you've done? What do you want, John? You took my life away. And I want to take yours. Go ahead. What are you waiting for? Go ahead and kill me. Shoot me. Strangle me. Do it or you'll never get over it. I never loved you. You were just another assignment. Just another way to impress my father. To prove to him that I was strong. I used you. And you were easy. You were easy, you stupid.
anything? Everything's pretty sealed up. The doors are chained and padlocked. Here. All right, Kremensky. He's right that way. Simon over there. Simon. No noise. Set me up. Use me as a scapegoat. Destroyed me to save yourself. Want to use them all. Who had access to your computer files, John? Think about it. We can bring her in together. Okay, we'll clear your name. You. You're the man. Don't listen to her, John. You see what she's trying to do? She's trying to make you think that it was me. You tell me what to look for. You and me, John. I can clear you. I can get you back in. Set me up. You son of a bitch. It was too perfect. I was assigned by your father to hunt down myself. How did you plant the Azerbaijan files? You did. The moment you entered the password that I gave you, the file downloaded onto his hard drive. Drugs and horse. Sorry, Joy. But I have to do it. for the delay. How's your shoulder? Sore. How's your head? Sore. You were doing a good thing. You were trying to catch a traitor. I caught the wrong man. Not your fault. I allowed my 
himself to be used. Everyone gets used. I betrayed him. Did you love him? I don't know. That's why you quit the agency, right? This whole thing. I was burned. So I shut myself off. And I've never allowed myself to open up since. I talked to your dad. When? He helped us figure out where Dunham was holding him. He did. You surprised about that? I am surprised. Beautiful winter day out there. What do you say we go for a drive? A drive. Whose place is this? Your father's. Did he put you up to this? What are we doing here? You need to forgive. Him? Never. No, not him. Yourself. <laughs> 